Hello! Uh, just doing a video because I came home from work today and found a, a box sitting on my front porch. Um, didn't know what it was. Probably something from for the wife I expected. She's been ordering a ton of stuff off Amazon for Christmas presents and I've ordered a few things too. She usually beats me out there, grabs them and hides them. So this is there. So I quickly brought it up in the house and much to my surprise it was addressed to me. That's me. Bruce L. Not showing you my address. Anyway, so, um, yeah, from Rob. Rob of Rob's Wrenches. That's him there. I'm not showing you his address either. I don't know what you weirdos do. Um, it's Paint Guy from Harbor Freight, Central Pneumatic HBLP Paint Gun. It's the. Oh, da, 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 da. Anyway, it's actually something I, I've wanted for quite a while, but can't get here in Canada because we don't have Harbor Freight. We have Princess Auto, which is similar but not the same. And I've heard nothing but good things about this paint gun. It's supposed to be really good. I mean, I, I, I go on, on professional painting forums, people painting cars, and everyone raves about this gun. They say, you know, it, it works as well as some of their $1,000 SATA guns or different guns. That's pretty cool. Pretty sweet. Comes with the regulator, which is nice. And the electric put this all together. Very cool. Does it say on here? Yeah, it's a 1.4 tip. That's awesome. Good for base coat and clear coat. Pretty cool. The paint cup. Instructions. I'll make those and they all they all come with these these brushes and these little wrenches so that's awesome thanks Rob really appreciate that I, I sent Rob a set of extractors from Canadian Tire which obviously he can't get in the USA because it's Canadian Tire and so I hope he gets so has those or is getting those soon and they're on their way I sent you the tracking number Rob I don't know if you checked it I haven't myself also, you know, the ridiculous amount of shipping, $24.50 from for Rob to send this from Milwaukee to Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. That's almost bang on the same price it cost me to sh ship the extractors to him. That's ridiculous. It's worth more than the package. This might weigh, yeah, this weighs a little bit more than the extractors, but I mean, come on guys, a little box for 25 bucks. It's not like it was sent express post or anything. So, anyway, you get hosed. I mean, living in Canada, you get hosed shipping anything to the United States. And that's why I don't like get involved in the giveaways and stuff, mostly on, on YouTube and other groups I belong to. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to using this. It's awesome. Really appreciate it, Rob. That's very cool of you. Um, up till now, I've been using Princess Auto Gun, and it works. This one's a 1.6 tip, and it works all right. It's a little heavy. The 1.4 is perfect, and it just, I mean, you can see it's just a better gun than, than this, this thing, which works. It does work. I've painted cars with it, and it works all right, but I'm really eager to see this one. Try that out. So yeah, that's, that's, that's any of you are considering painting. Get the Harbor Freight gun. Um, another gun that I have, I figured I'd show while I was doing this video. It's just a regular old pressure pot gun. And I use this one for primer because it doesn't really matter. I don't even know what size tip that is. But if you're using like a, uh, I guess it doesn't really matter what kind of primer you're using. Um, a pressure pot is, is perfect for that. Um, yeah, um, I say I'm a lot. Uh, yeah, pressure pot for primer, HVLP gun for paint. You're good to go. And the other gun I use, which I don't really use a whole lot, I thought it would be handy. It's a, just a touch-up gun. Works the same as any other gun. Just has a smaller canister, which the good thing about these is it's a lot easier to clean. It takes a lot less acetone or paint thinner to clean. So, yeah, it, it's handy, I suppose, but really, most more often than not, I'll use the regular HBLP gun to do touch-up work. Um, there was one more gun I want to show you. There it is. 
one of these. If you don't paint cars or if you have an air compressor at home, get one of these. They're awesome. They're so handy. They just basically use a suction and with your, your air draws a vacuum out of here and whatever you put in here gets sucked out and shot out the end at pressure. So you can adjust the pressure on your compressor with a regulator. And this thing will work great. Like, I mean, if you're washing your car, you can fill this full of soap and suds your car down really good. Engine cleaning, you can fill it full of degreaser, whatever, whatever you use for engine cleaning. Uh, um, what is that? Simply Green, Purple Power stuff, various things. It just works awesome. I've seen people fill them full of used motor oil and use it to spray the underside of their car for winterizing, rust prevention. I mean, this will literally spray anything that's not too thick to get sucked up in it. And it works really well. I mean, this was one of the, the best purchases I've made. It was like 10 bucks or something here in Canada. I uh, Probably cheap, as cheap or cheaper in the United States. Get one of these. I highly recommend it. They're useful for all sorts of things. <coughs> Talking to get marbles in my mouth because I'm chewing gum. Sorry about that. I quit smoking about a year and a half ago and started chewing nicotine gum. Now I can't stop chewing the nicotine gum. Another handy thing to get, again, this Princess Auto one, these hand sandblasters. They just clip onto your air, you fill them full of whatever you're using. Uh, you can use different medias, sand, silk sand, um, crushed walnuts, crushed glass. I mean, they're great for spot blasting things. They're cheap, they're like 10 bucks. I've got a couple of them, and this one, I, I bought a couple because I figured they wouldn't last very long. The tip would wear out, but it hasn't. So these are very handy for if you're doing body work on a car and there's an area that's all pitted with rust, you can't sand out or anything, you can blast it out with these. These work really well. Get yourself one of those. Um, one more thing I want to show you. I didn't get a new light, and you guys, if you've watched any of my videos, you've seen this, this bat light before. <laughs> I had it in my car, and my mother saw it and liked it, so I, so I got her one. Actually, I gave her the one I had, <clears throat> bought myself another one. And then the next day she says, oh, that's neat, it does neat stuff. I, I didn't know it did anything, I thought it was just a flashlight. But it turns out, if you push the button on top softly, it dims down a tone, which is great, because when I was using it before to look at something, it's too bright, it reflected off everything, but just dimmed down, it's perfect for a flashlight. But even cooler, you push it one more time, and it has this, this flash thing, it's supposed to be able to stun people, you know, if you have an attacker coming at you, you shine this in their eyes like that, and it'll disorient them, and then you, then you club them over the head while they're not looking. So yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. I had no idea until my mother showed me, see? 47 years old and still learning things from my mother. How awesome is that? Get yourself one of these too. Anyway, thanks for watching. I just want to say thanks to Rob from Rob's Wrenches. Awesome guy, awesome channel. Watch his stuff if you don't already. And yeah, I really look forward to using this. Thanks Rob. Have a good day. Thanks for watching.